everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Preschool Storytime with the Fond du Lac Public Library. Uh, my name is Miss Sarah. Hi. Hopefully by now you have all had a chance to watch a little introduction video of me on the library's Facebook page. If you haven't, go ahead and find it and check it out. Um, and just a couple things about me. I am brand new to the Fond du Lac Library. I started in February. I'm really excited to be here. I'm coming here from Texas where it's a little bit warmer than it is here, but I don't mind the cold, so it's okay. Uh, I'm really excited to be here and to get to know everybody. I'm sad that we're all stuck in our homes right now and not meeting each other at the library. This is my home, just like you guys are at your homes. Um, but hopefully soon we'll be able to see each other at the library again and get to know everybody. So today for a story time, you are eventually later in the story time going to need a scarf. So I have this scarf right here. My scarf is what color? Purple, that's right. Now, if you don't have a scarf like this at home, you can use a towel or a piece of clothing, something that you can wave around that's kind of gonna act like a scarf. So we'll need that later in the story time. So if you wanna take some time to try and find that right now, you can do that and then we'll use it later. So I'm gonna put the scarf away for now. <clears throat> And we are going to get started with our hello song. Did everybody bring their hands today to story time? Good, can you wave them for me? Yeah, good job. Okay, so we're gonna sing our hello song. It's called, This is the Way We Wave Hello. And it goes like this, are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello, 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 hello. Good job. All right, now we're gonna turn our waving hands into clapping hands. So let's warm them up, get them nice and warm so we can clap them really loud. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. This is the way we clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. This is the way we clap hello, 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 hello. Good job, everybody. All right. So we're gonna do a little song slash rhyme right now with our hands again. This one's called Open Shut Them. So can you open your hands up wide and then shut them into little balls? Good job. Okay, we're gonna do a few different things with them. So make sure you're listening. Everybody put your listening ears on. Where are my listening ears? There they are. Put your listening ears on so you're ready to listen to what we're gonna do. Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Open Shut Them them open shut them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them put them in your lap 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 creep them crawl them creep them crawl them right up to your chin 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 open wide your little mouth everybody open your mouth wide Ah, but do not let them in. Good job. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them right up to your nose, nose, nose. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right down to your toes, toes, toes. Shake them, shake them, roll them, roll them, make them into little fists. Shake them, shake them, roll them, roll them, then you blow a kiss. Mwah! Good job, everybody. Isn't that fun? It's fun to stretch out our hands like that. All right, we are gonna do a little movement. So if everybody can jump up, we're gonna pretend to, uh, we're gonna do a couple different movements to get some of our wiggles out before we get ready for our stories. All right, can you jump, 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 jump really high and hop, hop, hop like a little bunny, hop, hop. And clap, 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 can you clap your hands? Clap, clap, clap. And what about your feet? Can you stomp them? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, look, Miss Sarah's kitten wants to come be part of the story time now. This is Cheddar. 
He likes to say hi during story time. He doesn't like it when Miss Sarah is not paying attention to him, but he also doesn't like being held by Miss Sarah, so we're gonna let him go again. But you might hear him again in story time. All right, can you shake your head yes? And what about no? And can you bend your knees? And then sit down slow. Good job, everybody. All right, before we get into our story, we're gonna learn a sign in sign language. Today we're talking about birds, which Mr. Cheddar is very interested in, so we might see him again when we talk more about birds. So today our sign is for bird. So how we make the sign for bird is you take your pointer finger and your thumb and you make it into an L, and then you put it up next to your mouth like this, and then you pinch it together like it's the beak of a baby bird. So this is the sign for bird. That's how we say bird in sign language. Good job, now you guys know another language. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So we're gonna read our first story. I bet you guys, some of you know this story. This is called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Willems. All right, are we ready? Is everybody ready for the pigeon? Okay, he can be a little loud, so let's be ready. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Okay, can we do that? Can we make sure the pigeon doesn't drive the bus? Okay, let's see. Here he comes. I thought he'd never leave. <gasps> hey, can I drive the bus? What do you think? Can he drive the bus? Should we let him drive the bus? No, we should not. Please, I'll be careful. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. I tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. I don't know. Do you think that's enough to let the pigeon drive the bus? I don't know about that. Ooh, here he's practicing. Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. Yeah. I think he's pretty excited, but I don't know if that's gonna make him a good driver. No, I never get to do anything. Oh, how does the pigeon feel? Yeah, he looks sad, doesn't he? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Uh-oh, where's he going? Is he gonna go find that bus? We better catch him. Whew, he stopped him. Come on, just once around the block. What do you think, just once around the block? Is that okay? No, I don't know. I don't know about this pigeon. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. Do you think your mom would let the pigeon drive the bus? I don't know, I really doubt that. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. How do you think the pigeon is feeling since we're not gonna let him drive the bus? It's probably kind of sad. Do you get sad when you don't get to do things that you want? Yeah, or a little bit angry maybe. We all feel that way sometimes. Uh-oh. Let me drive the bus! Oh, he looks very angry. What do you think? Yeah, can you show me an angry face? Good. Poor pigeon. <gasps> Who's back? I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? No, we didn't. Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh, now the pigeon knows he's never gonna get to drive that bus. 
Bye. Everybody say bye to the bus driver. Bye bus driver. Oh, I'm pigeon. He looks sad, doesn't he? <gasps> hey, oh, what's this? What does the pigeon find now? It looks even bigger than a bus. Let's see. Oh, the pigeon's gonna drive a tractor trailer. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Probably not. Do you think we're gonna have to stop the pigeon from driving the tractor trailer too? I bet so. We don't want the pigeon to get into an accident. All right, did you guys like that book? Yeah, me too, I love the pigeon, he's silly. All right, today uh, we are gonna talk about early literacy for just a second. So there are five practices that will help get your kids ready for reading. They are talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. Today we're talking about writing. So a good way to help your kids get ready to learn to write eventually is to teach them how their fingers work and build up strength. So you can do this very easily by just giving them some scrap paper and safety scissors. And by using the scissors, um, they'll build strength in their hands and that will help them develop the muscles that they'll need to be able to hold a pencil later on when they need to learn how to write. So very easy and fun. They get to cut out cool shapes. All right, now it's time to get out our scarves. So here's my scarf. Once again, what color is my scarf? Purple, that's right. Okay, so you guys grab whatever you have for a scarf. Remember, if you don't have a scarf like this, you can use a towel or you can use a shirt or a sock, anything that you can use as a scarf that you can wave around. So since we're talking about birds today, do we remember what the sign is for bird in sign language? It's like this, like a little bird beak. Good job. So we're talking about birds today. We're gonna have our scarf pretend to be a bird. So everybody grab your scarf and we're gonna hold it in the middle so it looks like it has wings like a bird. Can you flap the wings? on your scarf or your towel or your shirt. Good job. All right, now our bird is gonna fly around to different places. So everybody listen and see where he lands. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. There's a bird in the air, in the air. There's a bird in the air, in the air. There's a bird in the air. Now he's flying in my hair. Oh no. There's a bird in the air, in the air. Do you want this bird to sit on your head all day? I don't. So let's see where else he can fly. There's a bird in the air, in the, oh, no. Oh, there's a bird. Let's see where he's gonna go. He's gonna fly down and land on our legs. Can you see him on your leg? Put him on your leg. Good. All right, let's see if we can get him to fly onto our leg. Maybe he'll go back and forth between our legs. There's a bird on my leg, on my leg. There's a bird on my leg, on my leg. There's a bird on my leg and he is kind of big. Woo, yeah, he's pretty big. He's got big long wings. There's a bird on my leg, on my leg. Good job. Let's see, where is he gonna fly now? I think he wants to land on our hands. Where's your hand? Can you put your bird on your hand? Yeah, good job, all right, let's see. There's a bird on my hand, on my hand. There's a bird on my hand, on my hand. There's a bird on my hand, and now he is my friend. There's a bird on my hand, on my hand. Good job, we made friends with our bird. Good job, everybody. All right. We're gonna do one more thing with our scarves. So we are gonna have our scarves be popcorn. Have you ever had popcorn? I like popcorn. Popcorn is a great snack. And popcorn comes in little bitty kernels like this. And then when you heat up those kernels, they pop, they get bigger and they make the popcorn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing this song about popcorn and we're gonna shake our popcorn. We're gonna turn our scarves into kernels, make them really small. We're gonna shake them like we're heating them up and then they're gonna pop. So you can throw your scarf up in the air or your towel or your shirt, remember, whatever you have. And we're gonna watch it pop. And if you wanna jump up 
when we pop, you can do that too, because I know jumping is fun. All right, is everybody ready? So let's get our popcorn kernels. Let's make them really small. Bunch them up in your hands. Good job. Okay, here we go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, everybody. Do you guys want to do that one again? Because it's so much fun. It's fun to throw our scarves, isn't it? Let's do it again. All right, let's bunch up our scarves again really small, like popcorn kernels. Here we go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, everybody. Yay, isn't it fun to play with scarves? And you can do that anytime. You can use anything that you have around your house that you can make float in the air, like a towel or a shirt or a sock, like I said, and have that be a scarf and just play around with it. It's fun, right? All right, we're gonna put our scarves away. It's time for another story. Are you guys ready for another story? Yeah, good. Okay, so this story is called Grumpy Bird by Jeremy Tankard. Have you ever been grumpy? Yeah, me too. I get grumpy sometimes. Can you show me a grumpy face? Mm. Grumpy. Yeah. So let's see why our little bird is so grumpy and what's going to happen to him. <clears throat> Here we go. Are you ready? When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. Oh, look at his grumpy face. You see how grumpy his face is? It's very grumpy. Show me your grumpy face again grumpy oh no he was too grumpy to eat he was too grumpy to play in fact he was too grumpy to fly looks like i'm walking today said bird oh he meets a friend who is this friend you guys know what animal that is white and fluffy and it goes ba a sheep that's right there's sheep bird walked past sheep good morning bird said sheep what are you doing walking said bird nice said sheep i'll keep you company so i think sheep is going to join bird on her walk on his walk oh we meet another friend who's this friend he's got big teeth and a carrot and I think he goes hop, hop, hop. Who's that? That is a rabbit. That's right, rabbit or bunny. Those are the same thing. We're gonna call him rabbit though. Bird walked past rabbit. Hi there, bird, said rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said bird. It's no fun. I could use some exercise, said rabbit. I'll walk too. They're going to make a little parade. Oh, this is an interesting animal, friend. Do you guys know what this one is? He's got a black mask around his eyes and a stripy tail up at the top there. Have you ever seen that? <clears throat> this animal likes to come out at night. He is called a raccoon. This is raccoon. Bird walked past raccoon. Hey, bird, said raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped Bird. What does it look like? It looks like fun, said Raccoon. I'm coming too. So now how many friends does Bird have with him? He's got one, two, three friends walking with him. Let's see, is he going to meet more friends? Oh, who's this friend? Do you guys know who this friend is? He's got even bigger teeth than Rabbit and a big flat tail that he uses to pound on the water. And he's got a stick because he likes to make something called a dam. Do you know what that what kind of animal that is? He's called a beaver. Let's see. Bird walked past beaver. Hello, bird, said beaver. What are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. 
Walking? guest Beaver. I love walking. So is Beaver going to join them for their walk? I think so. Are they going to meet any other friends? Oh, another friend. Do we know who this friend is? It's orange. He's got a little white on his tail. I don't see these animals very much. They're kind of shy. This is a fox. That's right. Bird walked past fox. Good day, bird, said fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing? Shouted bird. I'm just walking, okay? Okay, said fox. Let's go. Bird walked. The other animals walked. So how many friends does bird have with him now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Bird has five friends walking with him. Bird stopped. The other animals stopped. Bird stood on one leg. The other animals stood on one leg. Can you stand on one leg too? It's kind of hard. Be careful. Don't fall over. Good job. Bird jumped. And what does it look like happened? The other animals jumped. Can you jump up? Jump up high. Good job. Hey, this is fun, said Bird. Does he look grumpy still? I don't think he's grumpy anymore. Come on, said Bird, who had forgotten all about being grumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. And they did. There they all are having a snack together. They're having a snack of worms. Did you know that birds eat worms? I don't know if all these other animals like to eat worms, but they're going to share their worms with bird. The end. Did you guys like that book? That's a good one. So bird was grumpy when we started, but then he spent some time with his friends and then he wasn't grumpy anymore by the end. So sometimes when you're grumpy, spending time with people that you love will help you not be grumpy anymore because those people will make you feel good and cheer you up. But sometimes when you're grumpy, you need to just be alone with your grump and that's okay too. Someti eventually your grumpy will go away and then we can be happy again. All right, are you guys ready to sing a song with me? Do you know the alphabet song? You do? Good, will you sing it with me? Can we practice our ABCs together? Yes? Good, okay, great. So on the count of three, we're all gonna sing the alphabet song. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Good job, you guys, it's so good. And if you didn't sing time because you don't know your ABCs, you can practice them. And then eventually we'll have you all singing your ABCs together. Good job, friends. All right, we're coming towards the end of our story time. So we're gonna do something special. It's called a little cuddle rhyme. So if you have somebody you love nearby, like your parent or older brother or sister, or grandma or grandpa or your babysitter, whoever you love that's nearby, you can go and sit in their lap. Or if you have a stuffed friend nearby, you can put your stuffed friend in your lap and we're gonna do this little cuddle rhyme together. So I'm gonna show you how it goes. You're gonna do this, do the actions on the back of your stuffed friend or your caregiver is gonna do them on your back. So you guys follow along with me and I'll show you what to do. Is everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Criss cross applesauce, spiders crawling up your back, cool breeze, tight squeeze. Can you give a tight squeeze? Now you've got the shivers. Can you give a tickle? 
Good job. Do you guys want to do that one again? Because it's so much fun. Yeah, let's do it again. And this time, if you ask nicely, maybe the person you love will let you do it to them. Or you can do it to your stuffed animal again. Or you can let the person you love do it to you again because it's fun. Sometimes it's fun to be tickled. All right, is everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Criss cross applesauce. Spiders crawling up your back. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Ready for the tickles? Now you've got the shimmers. Good job, everybody. Isn't that fun? Yeah. All right. That means it is the end of story time. So we're going to wave goodbye, but we're going to wave all the different parts of our body. So I need everybody to stand up and I'll tell you which body parts we're going to wave. First, we're going to start out by waving up high. Can you wave up high? Stretch your arms up high, wave high and wave down low. Can you wave down low? I think it's time we gotta go. So let's wave our elbows. Where are your elbows? Can you wave those? Ooh, we could do it like this or like this, however you wanna do it. And wave your toes. Can you wave your toes? Can you see my toes? It's hard to get my toes in the, in the camera. All right, wave your tongue. Where's your tongue? And wave your nose. Where is your nose? Can you wave that? Good job. Yeah. All right. How about your knees? Where are your knees? Wave your knees and wave your lips. That's fun, isn't it? And blow a kiss with your fingertips. Mwah! Good job. Wave your belly. Wave your ears. Wave your hair and wave your derriere. That means your bottom. Wave your bottom. Shake it. Good job. Wave your chin and wave your eyes. Can you blink your eyes? And then wave your hand and say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for story time. We'll see you again tomorrow at 1030 for preschool story time. Bye, friends. Have a great day.